okay welcome back today we'll be discussing the 2017 part 1 and before i start discussing uh, you all do the paper and then uh, cross check your answers with my discussions so the part 1 have the paper with you all uh, the part 1 a person deposits an amount of 1000 rupees in a bank at an annual simple simple interest rate of 8% so how much interest does he get at the end of one year so you know simple interest and compound interest this is simple interest so the rate is 8% and he is depositing only 1000 rupees so how do you find the interest if 8 is the interest for 100 rupees means what is the interest for 1000 so if you cancel off the zeros the answer you get is equal to 80 and moving on to the second one A vehicle travels at a uniform speed of thirty kilometers per hour. Find the time in hours that this vehicle takes to travel a distance of one hundred and twenty kilometers. Now, to do questions related to speed, you should know this equation. Speed is equal to distance over time. Now, you have to just substitute. What is the speed given? It is given as thirty kilometers per hour. Don't forget to mention the units. Okay. And what is the total distance given? Yeah, they say it's hundred and twenty kilometers. Okay. Now have they given the time? No, you have to find out. So let us say x. Now you can cancel off kilometer, kilometer, and make x the subject. So you bring x to the other side, and yes, thirty will be in the denominator with this h minus it h to the power minus one. Now what happens to this h? Since it is it is in the denominator. If you take it to the numerator, it becomes just h. Okay. Now you can cancel out this. Twelve divided by three is equal to four hours. Okay. Is that clear? Okay. And the third one. You have to express in logarithm. Logarithm form form that three to the power four is equal to eighty one. Okay. Now you should know one thing that uh, now when you write a number to the power four. You call this as the base, something that is down, right? Normally, you call it the base, something that is down. Okay, three to the power four. This is the index. Three to the power four is giving you eighty-one. Now, even in log form, when you write log of some number to the base, that is equal to some answer. Okay, now you are going to derive this using the equation given. Now I told you this is the base that is down, so you have to consider the same base when you are writing it in logarithmic form. So you have to include log of what is the base? Okay, log of the answer. Three to the power is giving you how much? It is equal to eight one. So you have to say log of this eighty one having base. What is the base? Yes, having the base three is equal to. Four. This is the way. See, this is the base log of eighty one to the base three. So even here you have the base. Some base is something that is down. Here also base is something that is down. Okay. Okay. Let us go to the fourth question. Simplify. You have to simplify these two. Okay. This is simple. You have to make the when you are adding or subtracting fractions, you have to make the denominators same. Since the denominators are not same, I'll multiply by two. That is going to give you two minus one is equal to one over two x. And fifth one, find the magnitude of DBC. The diagram is given. This is equal to ninety. This is B, C, and D, and this side, this part is equal to one hundred and twenty degrees. Now observe. Uh, you have to yes find out uh, D B C D B C means this angle. So since you know this is hundred and twenty, this is equal to uh, this is a straight line. Therefore, this part is equal to sixty. So if this is sixty and if this is already given as ninety, ninety plus sixty is equal to one hundred fifty. So this is a triangle. Therefore, the angle is equal to thirty degrees. Is that clear? Okay. Sixth one. Uh, it has been estimated that ten men will require eight da eight days to complete a certain task. Uh, 
Now this is about man and days. Therefore, let us find the number of man days. You have to multiply both number of men and the days. So 10 into 8. That is going to give you 80 man days. Okay. Man days. Okay. Man days. Next, what uh, they are asking you, how many men should be engaged to complete this task? That means the same task in five days. Now, if it is the same task, uh, the task will always have the same number of man days. That means when in the second part of the question, you have the same number of man days. But this time, yes, when you multiply man and days, you should always get the same amount because man days is always equal. But what are the two things we are multiplying? We are multiplying man and number of days. Okay. But only one, one number is given. They have given you only the number of days, but you don't know the number of men. Therefore, let us say X. But always it should give you 80 because they are working on the same task. So, if you divide, how much is it? be equal to 16 men is that clear okay let us move on to the seventh one seventh find the LCM of two algebraic expressions 2xy and 4y squared okay how do you solve let us do it in the normal way LCM method first what should you do divide by the lowest prime number let us divide by 2. So here you can divide both. And here also you can divide that is equal to 2y squared. Next what are you going to do again? You can divide it by 2. So xy and y squared. Now by what can you divide both? Okay. I'll go to y. Let me divide by y. Therefore x is here. Y is here. Now you can divide it until you get 1. Okay. We'll go will follow that method so he would divide again by x it is going to give you 1 and y again let us divide by y and that is going to give you 1 1 now take the product of this so 2 into 2 is 4 4 into x into y square that is the LCM take the product 4 x y square eighth from the values given below Select the uh, first ap approximation of root 32. How do you find? Now they have given you the numbers 5.2, 5.3, 5.7 and 5.9. Okay, how do you solve? You have to select the yes uh, first approximation. That is, when now square root means when you multiply 5.2 into 5.2, you should get this answer or somewhat similar to this answer. Therefore, you have to now, you have to multiply each of these values and check which is very close to 32. So I select after multiplying all and I multiply uh, 5.7, 5.7 into 2, I get 32.49. So the answer I select is this. When I multiply all other numbers, I get numbers that are a bit far away from 32. So I select the closest one and then ninth question uh, find the value of cos theta using the diagram given this is simple you should only know what is cos theta so this is theta they have given you this is 3 4 and this is equal to 5 so this is theta cos theta cos theta means adjacent over hypotenuse what is it just adjacent side it is equal to 3 centimeters and hypotenuse is always equal to this that is equal to 5 centimeters therefore cos theta is equal to 3 over 5 if you simplify you will get uh, 0 0.6 and the tenth one uh, if a and b are two sets such that uh, yes number of element in a is equal to 5 number of element in b is equal to 7 and number of yeah, a union b is equal to 10 you have to find out number of element in a intersection b now for these types of questions there is an equation 
Now you have to remember this equation always. That is, if you are going to find the total of, we'll say, number of elements in A union B. The way of finding is, this is the equation you have to memorize this. That is a simple idea here when you study sets. You will be okay with this part. So you have to add, uh, add the number of elements in A and number of elements in B. And from this you have to subtract the number of elements in A intersection B. Now let us substitute. Now you have to find out what? Yes, this part. So let us keep this here. You have to. Uh, yes. Uh, sorry, you have to find intersection. Therefore union is given as 10. And for A you have 5 plus b is equal to 7 minus let us say x now make x the subject so here 12 minus 10 is equal to 2 x is equal to 2 is that clear okay and the 11th one factorize now this is a grade 10 lesson that i uh, added the video just two days back so if you have problems you can check it down the other videos this is this is based on difference of yeah difference of two squares the way of simplifying i have explained in that video that is you take you write this as six squared you can simplify this as factorize this as x minus x and x plus x twelfth in a lottery which is used only 100 lottery tickets okay out of 100 lottery tickets for male and females, uh, 35 lottery tickets were bought by females and the rest for males, then is equal to 65. What are they asking you? Yes. If only one winner is selected in the lottery draw, what is the probability of the winner being a male? How do you write the probability? Now they are speaking about male. So you have to select the number that belongs to male and write it in the numerator. That is equal to 65. And also, denominator represents the total. What is the total number of uh, lottery tickets? It is equal to 100. This is the value. And if you simplify this, the answer you get is 13 over 20. Is that clear? Okay. And let us move on to the 13th. Uh, A, B. Okay, there is a diagram. A, B is the diameter. A, B is the diameter, yes. The point C lies on the circle. It is somewhere there. This is the diagram, okay. The point C lies, yes. A, B is equal to 10 centimeters. This is equal to 10 centimeters. Also, C, B. C, B is equal to 6 centimeters. This part. Now, you have to find out, find the length of A, C. Now there is a small theorem you have to use that now this is the diameter using the diameter if you extend any angle on the circle anywhere on the circle always the angle will be equal to 90 degrees therefore since this is 90 it looks like a right angle triangle therefore what theorem can you use yes you can use the Pythagoras theorem so you can say let us say this unknown side as x and you can use the equation x squared plus 6 centimeter squared is equal to 10 centimeter squared. So by solving this, we will be getting x is equal to um, 64 centimeter squared. Squared is equal to 64 centimeter squared. Therefore, x is equal to root of 64 centimeter squared. That is going to give you 8 centimeters. Is that clear? Okay, that was the uh, 13th question. And now let us check the 14th. Okay, 14th question. Uh, solve. You have to solve. 14th is you have to solve this. X plus 2 into X minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, how do you solve? Even this is done in the last video. You can check it out. The grade 10 syllabus. How do you solve? You have two values. X plus 2 is equal to 0. Or X minus 1 is equal to 0. So here you can say X is equal to minus 2. Or 
x is equal to plus 1.